All right, patrons, welcome back. This is our bonus episode for the final chapters of Joshua. We're done now. I'm excited. I'm happy. Like, I'm always happy to move on to a new uh, book, I guess. You're always happy to book. see a patriarch yeah, die. A book in the Bible. <laughs> really more accurate. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Like, like burn the patriarchy down. We're doing it one <laughs> patriarch by one. It's pretty awesome. Although I don't know in judges who that next patriarch is going to be. So yeah, yeah. I guess uh, I've. I, I honestly, yeah, I'm. I'm almost like out of people that I remember. We haven't done uh, Samson and Delilah yet, have we? No. I think they're in judges. No. Are they in Samuel? I think oh. they're in Judges. I think Samson's in Judges. Okay. All right. Yeah, pretty cool. sure. Sweet. All right. Well, then here we go. Someone that I'll know. Cool. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, what are we doing in this bonus episode, Jace? Okay. So we are back to one of our favorite go-to end of a book rituals, which is doing a quiz on the book that we just yeah, read. Yeah, fun. So Love this it. comes from biblequizzes.org.uk. So, I okay. will attempt to read all of the questions in a British accent. Oh, will you now? We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of imagine like I'm a professor in Harry Potter, and we will see what Good happens. start. Good start. I was debating between this, which is a 20-question quiz, and a 45-question quiz. Ooh. And I ended up going back to this one. And we've done this site before for some quizzes because of two things one the other one was just very long and two it seemed like from quickly scrolling through and looking at some of the questions that some of the answers were more like can you guess the right theological christian answer to this question mm. rather than just uh, like let's talk about what happened no in the story. i want facts i'm not gonna so, be good at that at all <laughs> Well, I think by now, though, you would be able to guess what those answers should be, but I just don't think that's as interesting. Okay. So we're going to do the 20-question no. the one here. I will not okay. get to see our answers uh, until we get to the end. Oh, my. So oh, here okay. we go. Are we doing this all together? We'll do it all together because I can't see the answers, so we can all- Okay, okay. Like, like okay. we've done in the past. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, oh, yeah. Also this. It tells me that the average score on this test- is 60%. Huh, not great. Oh, not great. boy, not great. So no. I think we are going to crush it. I have not looked at the we'll questions see. yet besides the first couple. So here we go. Number one, whom did Joshua succeed as a leader of Israel? Ugh. I'm not even going to read the options. Give it to me. Mose? Mose. Mose. Yeah, Mosey. Mose. Mose. Number two, what was the name of Joshua's father? Uh... None. None your business. Gad. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Emily, come on. I don't know why I said Gad. Joshua, son of none. Said We've said it many, many times. Yeah. yeah uh, your options, you would, have, you would have gotten it if you heard the options, which were Carmi, yeah, Nun, Othniel, or Eleazar. Oh, what? Is this a multiple choice? These are multiple choice. Oh, geez. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You should have told us that. He's not giving us multiple choice. He's you like, whatever, it you get I'll, it anyways. All right, all right. I'll give it when we need it. Okay. okay. Number three. Okay, fine. To what city did Joshua send two men to spy upon? Was Jericho. it Jericho? <laughs> yes. I, Gilgal, or Heshbon? Okay, that one was Jericho. What the hell is I? We talked about I a lot. Remember? Because cool. you kept laughing about how it sounds like you're saying it, and they approached I and things that... I? I? <laughs> yeah. Okay, number okay. four. What yeah. was the name of the woman who hid the spies Joshua sent, and for bonus Ray, points, Ray who is she played Ray, by? Ray whatever, uh -huh. and her, she's played by either Le, Rayhan, and Rayhan. she's played by Rayhan. Lady Gaga. Ray no, she's not. Lady she's Gaga not played or... by Lady Gaga. Well, she played by Halle Berry. Uh, nope, not by Halle what? Berry either. Gosh, I thought you guys would well, ace who? this part no. of the test. <laughs> Take it. Emily, oh, is it like, Eva Green? Yes. Recording this podcast <laughs> with you oh, is like God. with the guy from Memento. It's just like in between episodes, it's just like- You know what? I don't even want to freaking over. hear it. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Although you too, Dedeker. I thought for sure uh, by now you both would have known that one. Okay. Number all right, five. it's Eva Green. I, you know, you know how many freaking like things we've looked up <laughs> and been like, yeah, uh, it's gonna be this person, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not. Let's change. We it have later. changed on the know. casting quite a bit. That's why I didn't remember because I thought yes. we had with someone else, and the casting changed. Like it's yeah, so did I. No, that one's. We're still waiting yeah. for someone for Lady Gaga. Ugh, okay. We talked about okay. her maybe being Joshua at one point, but Henry Cavill won out. 
There was actually an episode where Dedeker yeah. literally yelled at me over trying to cast anyone besides <laughs> Henry Cavill in that role. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Number five. At what town did God stop the waters of the Jordan as the Israelites crossed over on dry land? A town? Mm. <clears throat> give us give us the The ones options for those. are Eglon, Ashan, Jagur, or Adam. Is it Ashan? I think it was Adam. I think it was Adam also. But I don't right, remember fine. very well. Two out of three. Okay. No, maybe it's yeah. Adam. Cause remember, yeah, because it was like not where the bridge was. It was at a separate area, which is where they crossed. I remember that. Okay. I think uh, just that name Adam sounds familiar, right? I mean, they all sound, they're all in the book, so they all sound familiar. Put it in. We'll see. Number six. This is about that same event. How many stones did the Israelites take from the dry riverbed on the Jordan? It's got to be 12, right? I feel like it must be, yeah? Yeah. The options are 7, 12, 40, or 153. It's 153, jeez. <laughs> no, just do 12, it's be 12 jeez. Yeah. Okay. Number seven. Once the Israelites had entered the promised land, what happened in the days after they had celebrated the Passover? Here's the options. Uh... Okay. So after they had entered the promised land, in the days after Passover, God stopped yeah. providing manna. Joshua appointed <sighs> land to each tribe. The Jordan River began oh. to flow again, or the Amorites attacked them. Okay, Was I it the manna land? or I think it's the, first the two. land? Yeah, it's one of the yeah. first two. The, because I thought that the manna did stop happening, and we were like, oh, the manna's gone. Whoa, I remember that, but what? Yeah. when did that happen? Was that right after... I thought that, that was after they conquered everything. Is that what the, they're saying here? The apportioning land? Or is it just that they... Yeah, I no, think it's the, the manna. the manna should... I'm going to go yeah. with the manna. I mean, the funny thing is the River Jordan probably did begin to flow again. I just don't think they ever mentioned that. But yeah. I'm going to go with the manna. It's so Okay, okay. Mana. yeah, let's go with mana. Yeah, mana, cool. it's really going to suck if the answer is that Joshua apportioned land. But okay, here we go. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Since that's like the majority of the last half of the book. All right, number eight. Yeah. What did the captain of the Lord's host command Joshua to do? So this is when that like angel of the Lord came down to Joshua and talked to him. Okay. That, that story that happened that we told on this show. I only vaguely remember that story. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So what did the captain of the Lord's house command Joshua to do? Your options are gather his army against Jericho, travel to Shiloh, build an altar to the Lord, or take off his sandals. Oh. oh what? None of those sound right. Was it, was it about I, the I don't think it's the altar. Was it about the Jericho stuff? Because there was a lot of very specific instructions for Jericho and that had to have been delivered by somebody, right? I don't think they just dreamed that up on their own. You're right. Uh, you're right. It's got to be that that's what inspired them really? to go against. Right? It's got to be. How Because they got they... all the specific instructions about marching around yeah. and like, cheering. Like, I don't think they would have and... just figured that out on their own. Yeah. I think yeah, it's got to I... be that. Yeah? Okay. I mean, the other options are I don't remember. I thought that we were like, wow, this is random. Yeah, I mean, they're all silly. <laughs> But okay. okay, I mean, whatever. You can, sure, do that one. It, two out of three, it's fine. Dedeker oh, and I decided on the last one. Okay. I know, this, right. is, this is tough. This is tough. Maybe 60% is not a bad goal to shoot for. <laughs> okay, number well, nine. We'll, we'll start there. Yeah. Number nine. How many priests were chosen to carry the ram's horns as they marched around Jericho? Oh, boy. Was it three, seven, 14, or 70. I think it was seven. I'm going to say seven. Uh, seven or three is what I'd say. I was going to guess seven or 14. So I guess seven's the okay, overlap. Okay, let's do That's seven. One. Seven is the one. <laughs> okay. All right. Number 10. What was the name of the man who violated God's commandment not to plunder anything from Jericho? That one guy. Yeah, that one guy. That one guy. It starts with an A. Sean. A Sean. Your options are Finney, also known as Finnehas. Nah. Zabdi. No way. Achan or Abihu? Achan. Definitely Achan. Achan, yep. Yeah. Okay. Number 11. What signal did Joshua give for the army waiting in ambush behind Ai to attack? See, this is the city of Ai that we were talking about. <gasps> what signal? What are our options? <laughs> okay. His options are he raised his shield above his head, he held okay. out his spear toward Ai, burnt a sacrifice on an altar, or gave a great shout. <laughs> That's real great. What? 
I she is uh, now. Do you, remember, do you remember the city of I? The deal they did where yeah, they had the like troops kind of a, behind yes, them. Yes, yes, I do remember that. I think the spear. I think the spear. Definitely, the I think spear. that was a signal. Okay, and he held the sure. spear out like the whole time that they were burning the city to the ground. I remember that. Okay, I Num- forget this one. I I I don't know. I forget about I. But go for it. That sounds good. Cool. Yeah, it was right after they did Jericho. Then they went on and and did some okay. other towns. And this is the one where they tried to take it and got beaten back. So then they made this plan okay. to have the troops go behind the city while another. Big See, group went in front, yeah. got chased away, okay. and when everyone chased them out of the city, the ones behind came in and burnt it to the ground. Okay, cool. Yeah. See, I, I think about this these books like more abstractly. I'm like, <laughs> when I'm talking to be no, just from the standpoint where I'm like, okay, like, what do what does somebody, how does somebody really justify, you know, the killing of 30 cities and all the women and children within them? Like, how how do you justify that in the Bible? You know, that's the kind of thing that I think about, not these little frickin' minutia of details here that you're, like, getting angry at me about that I'm forgetting. I'm like, bigger picture, Jace, okay? Cool. Glad we got that out of the way. Okay. All right. Number 12. The Gibeonites tricked Joshua into making a covenant of peace. But as what did he make them serve the Israelites? I'm sorry. Was that English? Hang on. Say that again. Uh, okay. The, the Gibeonites tricked Joshua into making a covenant of peace and not killing them. Yes. But okay. as what did he make them serve the Israelites? They were the water bearers, water fetchers. And? And shoe tires. <laughs> no, Do you remember this what? at all? Em? I don't know. No. Do you, do you remember this whole ruse? The, the guys who showed up, like the worn out clothing... And the yes. water skins and the bread with mold in yes. it. And they were like, we've traveled so far, even though they were really just like one town over. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. I remember that. Well, and so Joshua made the covenant. About that. And then they discovered they were neighbors. And they were like, okay. dang it, yeah. you tricked and they were us. Pissed. They're like, but yeah, you, you I made do a remember that. No yeah. take backsies was part of the clause. And so the they covenant. were shoe tires and what? <laughs> now, here's your options. <laughs> Woodcutters and water carriers, brickmakers and messengers, stone carriers and armor bearers, or shepherds and fishermen. Is it the one, the first? Yeah, woodcutters and water carriers. Okay. I'm sure. I'm Woodcutting, sure not shoe tying. Yeah. Okay, number shoe thirteen. Shoe tying and water carrying. <laughs> what natural phenomenon helped Joshua defeat the Amorites? Your options are a sandstorm, uh, oh. a flood. An earthquake or hailstones? Hailstones. Yeah. That I remember. Yeah. Okay. Slash maybe it was actually a meteor shower. Who knows? Maybe. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. No, that was. Right oh, yeah. No, that was. Like, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, number 14. What was the only tribe not to receive an inheritance? Dot, dot, dot. Or did they? Levites? That's my. I added that. I added the dot, yeah, dot, dot. That's the, the Levites. Yeah, Levi. the Levites. Okay. Your options are Reuben, Issachar, Levi, or Manasseh. Levites. It's got to be Levi. Number 15. How old was Caleb, one of the original 12 spies, in parentheses, when he was given Hebron as his inheritance? He was an old boy. Remember? Because he talked about yes. that he could I'm still an old man, and he could still I, go out and yeah. go in. Mm-hmm. And we cast Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. Yes, perfect. Sylvester perfect Stallone. casting. Truly. Which, by the way, anyone listening, please go to at Drunk Bible Study at Instagram because Jace made a fantastic <laughs> movie poster of The Return oh, of Caleb gosh. featuring Sylvester I do remember Stallone. Saying so that. please go follow us. <laughs> go follow us on Instagram at Drunk Bible Study. Okay. Uh, the options here for how old was Caleb was 40. 45, 70, or 85? I think it was 85. It, yeah, yeah, like the oldest, the oldest. The oldest man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number 16. What tribe was given a portion of Judah as their inheritance? Oh, we just talked about this. Ooh. Wait, say that. Say that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Ephraim, Simeon, Asher, or Benjamin? That helps not at all. Cool. Um... <laughs> I, I have a. I have a guess. Ephraim, Simeon, Asher, or Benjamin. I have a guess. Okay. Which do you all think it is? And then let's say I'm at the same time. Okay. So think of your guess. Ephraim. Remember they gave, they took away part of Judah's and then did it. Okay. I one, said two, mine. three. Ephraim. Benjamin. Benjamin. Damn it. <laughs> okay. 
Be- uh, that was Benjamin the one that I didn't think it was, but okay, fine, Benjamin. I just don't know. I mean, it could also be Asher. I think it was Benjamin. Okay. Ah, uh, gosh, I don't know. Whatever you want. I just don't know. I don't care. Okay, we'll try Benjamin. Okay. Okay, number 17. What was the last tribe to be apportioned their inheritance? Oh, of land? I talked about this, but I forgot. Um, yeah, this say, was another Emily yeah, read last week. Yeah, say it, week. say it, say it, and then I'll try to remember. Your options are Zebulun, Gad, Naphtali, or Dan. Dan. It was 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 Dan. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right. I I would have guessed not Dan, but you are so insistent. I'm, I'm pretty with you. damn sure it's Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, sure it's Dan. Okay. Number eighteen. What city was given to Joshua? As his inheritance. Oh right, he got his own city. Uh, his own city. <laughs> his own I don't city, know. Crown. So, I forgot about that. Bless. Okay, here's your options: Lachish, Timnasera, Ziklag, or Beersheba. Ooh, is it Beersheba? Beersheba. Yeah, I think it's Beersheba. Just because it's you know. It's I don't think Beersheba. it is. Huh? No. Oh, okay. I was gonna guess Timnasera. Kesara, no, Sara. I mean, maybe Kesara, Sara. But if you both think it's no, I don't know. I, don't know. I just, I remember. I don't know. I remember. Okay, I remember Emily reading Beersheba. Yeah, I said it like seventy-five times, but I don't know where. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like he said it a lot of times, which makes me think it's not this. Uh, I just don't know. What do, what are we gonna? Is this Beersheba? Just. You can go for it. If you go both feel like that's what it was, just do it. Okay, yeah, all right. Fun. Number nineteen, second to last question. So close. Okay. Oh boy. For what sin were the cities of refuge created? Uh, for killing a man when you didn't actually hate him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your options are accidental murder, yeah. blasphemy, theft, or adultery. Accidental murder. Accidental murder. Accidental yeah. murder. Yeah. How cool. Number twenty, last question. What did the tribes east of the Jordan do to incur the wrath of those to the west? Oh, uh, we know this one. <laughs> I want to know what the options are. I'm curious. Okay. Option number one took possession of the River Jordan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Two built an altar. Yeah. Yep. Three took wives from other countries. <laughs> well, but yeah. Four, I mean, worshipped other gods. That would also mm-hmm. suck. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Here we go. Just build a big old altar. Okay. Built an altar. Submitting answers. Drum roll. We got 85%. Yes! Hell yeah. We got 17 out of 20 correct. Solid B. What did we get wrong? (laughs) Solid B. Okay, I'm just going to scroll through. What did we get wrong? ah, Dang it. Okay, number eight. What did the captain of the Lord's host command Joshua to do? We said gather his army against Jericho, and it was actually to take off his sandals. Dang it! I, I did think that I think they got I him did... on a they got us on a technicality. If that was like the first thing, of the, maybe whatever. I'm not That's gonna argue stupid. it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Number sixteen. What tribe was given a portion of in, of Judah as their inheritance? We said Benjamin. The correct answer was Simeon. Oh. So oh. not any of the things that we thought <laughs> it was. Would have never gotten that one. Okay. Cool. Oh, boy. Oh, man. And number 18. What city was given to Joshua as his inheritance? We said Beersheba. The correct answer is Timnath. Oh, Oh, jeez. Hey, but we still did well above average, so I'm pretty happy with that. It's still a victory. Oh, well. Well, we almost got 90%. Sweet. Good job. Almost could have gotten an A-. minus. Yeah, well. (laughs) Yay. Well done, everyone. Wow. We did it. What a what a time. What a time in Joshua. Thank you for your service. Yeah. Your watch has ended, indeed. <laughs> Seriously. I hope we can cast someone super cool in Judges. Uh, several new people, probably. Oh, well, yeah, yeah there are a lot of super cool people. We haven't cool cast people. Phineas yet. Oh. That's true. We haven't cast Phineas yet. I'm pretty sure Samson is going to come up in Judges. We're going to have to mm. cast him. That's yeah, going to be yeah. very I feel like Samson cast. should be um, the guy who plays Thor, Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth? I could oh, see interesting. that. interesting. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. With the long hair. Okay. You yeah. know? I could see that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see more about what his character's all about, but I'm kind of wanting to pitch uh, Phineas could be Lady Gaga. Mm. We'll see I don't what even, he does I know nothing next. about Phineas, so maybe. Yeah. That, okay, that's the thing. Whoever Lady Gaga plays, that character needs to have character. Yeah. You know, they need to have something going on for them. So far, see, I haven't, yeah, we don't really know Finney so well. We don't know him well enough. This yeah, is like, funny yeah. because my mom, like, just got off the phone with me, like, the other day and was like, I hated, I couldn't even get through A Star is Born. So I feel like she's not going to be that impressed <laughs> with our casting of Lady Gaga in anything. 
And I was like, okay, I didn't realize it was that bad. Like, I thought it was whatever. Like, I watched it and it was fine, but whatever. And so, yeah. Hopefully she'll sing a lot or something. Yeah, you're right. If there's a, Yeah, you're right. That's what we should do. We should wait for anyone who sings and then oh, that's yeah. Lady Gaga. That's it. Sure. Okay. So there's, right. there's been some songs. Like, mm-hmm. Moses had a song that Joshua sang with him. Yeah. But, yeah, we got to wait okay. for this. Great. Yeah. Okay. All right, everybody. We will see you next week as we start Judges. Judges.